So L Cleveland Major. Right, I understand you're trying to create a chain in a loop using a torus with 36 sections. Uh, I'm not sure, quite sure about the rest of the things that you said there but I think I can do the first bit so we'll see I will do that and then you can tell me if that helps in any way okay right so you want to right click and create a torus but use the dialog button so you can get 36 sections and four slices so you've got these this cube cross section to this shape select the entire shape go to face right click tessellate triangulate so you've got these zigzag diagonal lines press space to deselect select the edge tool select every, uh, an alternative uh, so leave the gap so they're just the diagonal lines that are facing one way and not the other in this case I think that's the best way of describing it press loop and delete those then if you select the remaining pair and press loop and switch to face you'll see we've got every other face selected press delete now to get rid of the lines and right click and right click on material to assign a new material to those faces and just change its color slightly so you can see it's been done press space now you'll see we've got every other face selected use the line tool select one of these lines that's going to form a loop around the outside press G and then L right click and loop cut so it's cut it into separate shapes press space to deselect everything now click on new material in the outliner right click and select all the new materials right click and intrude and then just intrude it a little bit it's not critical right select the entire shape right click and weld it back together and then press space to deselect select the entire object now and smooth it once so you can see we've got this um, that they're almost there like uh, links but we're not quite right select one of these lines on the outside of a of one of the tunnels and press I for identical and then you'll see that it's gone round onto the outside of all of them and then press L for loop right click and bevel so you're now selecting the thickness of your chain so I've selected that now and then I can be a bit crafty here. I never thought of doing this before. I don't know if it'll work with the uh, torus knot. Space to deselect. Use your line tool again and select one of the new lines that you created like that. Press I for identical again and loop and then right click and you can use the circularize command so that you can take the hard edges off that. So now but you, if you look closely you can actually shrink them so they're either inside each other or just out past each other you just want them to be about touching really for this purpose then left click to set the size space to deselect select the line tool again select one of these lines that go across the uh, the cylinder that you've made press I for identical and then you press um, I think well if we've got them all selected and it looks like we have circularized does a very good job you can select the face tool oh, I've not quite got there so press control Z you can use G to continue the edge ring around the outside select face tool right click and then shell extrude normal so you can now extrude these sections out then we can use the select entire lot right click and combine tool to simplify the geometry graph if necessary uh, we'll get rid of the original shape and then you've got your rings and you can smooth them down so now in theory there should be uh, you think yes it looks like it a continuous chain in a ring in a torus with 36 sections so if that answers your question excellent if not then put a post on this uh, put a comment in and s you can tell me where i've gone wrong and then i'll have another go okay then so otherwise hope you found that interesting and you'll have a go with experimenting with wings 3d and making interesting geometric shapes